come, let me ask you this question. Where is your wife? She's in Eastern Cape. She's in Eastern Cape? Yes. Did you marry your wife? No. Huh? No. No, you didn't marry your wife? No, I proposed that we cancel. <coughs> your age is going. Yes. And it seems like the more, the older you become, the worse your situation becomes. Yes, it's true. Hmm? It's true. Where are your friends? My? Friends. Friends? Mm. I don't have friends. You don't have friends? Nah. Are you a Christian? Yes. But I don't go to church. You are a Christian? Yes. Who doesn't go to church? Yes. I'll ask you again. Where are your friends? I don't have friends. Don't, are you sure you don't have friends? I'm sure. Then who are these people that you always go out with? <laughs> uh, they are the instant people. So what do you mean by I don't have friends? They were my workers, they are not my friends. They are your workers? Yes. Isn't like you employed them? Mm. Yes, or they are your yes. co-workers? I employed them. Okay, let me ask you this way. Do you understand the English properly? I want to use the language that you will understand me. Okay. Do you, do you prefer English or Kanye is cross? Not yet, it's cross. Because I'm talking to you directly. Zip is Chemzako. And I understand what is Chemzako because Auntie Nawabanga. Then. But Abantu and J. What was that one? My uncle and Abantu. J. So our nabo Abanga, so you say. Yes. But we nabantu ohamba nabo almost every weekend. Yes, but send a egg. Nizi kupa niti niyo, niyo pola. Yeah. What kabela nini? Asa hukdana. Anza kumpola. I'm asking you because I don't know how to, because it's not my mother tongue. It's just a language that I, I learned as I was growing. So I'm not that much perfect. So I would mix way my closer words are failing me. Okay. I'm asking you because it's surrounding Yako. It's what the devil is using. Ugumisa ubomebako. Yeah, goes. And if because ta ukula uya pambili inga kizako nazo sitas kula ziya pambili. And the worst of it all, Uba, ka ufuna e solution, ka zulula the more complicated it becomes. That's why in the Buzba zip is chomizako. Because the plan of the devil, Uba, they always take you in there when it is wrong to draw you away to the place omele uyo kuyo. Yeah. If bonga nabo ababantu oskupa nabo, you'll be a married man now. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying to you. I yeah, understand. Because I'm di chonge into emise i engagement yako. Okay. I understand. We are on in 20 time. It comes from Abba Bantu. Oti, they are not your friends. But if you didn't have these people, you would have married this lady by now. My ex-girlfriends. She's now your ex-girlfriend. 
Oh, you mean your ex-friends? Yes. That's what I'm saying. The devil is using your surrounding to draw you away from your destiny. But I want to pray with you so that God will restore you. Because not only in relationship, because your situation is it's dragging her down. Because she thought when a you will be able to take care of her and sort out many things. That's true. Now Increase your care because the expectation she had as she was grooming you, none of them is happening. And now she's growing old because one of her concerns is that she is going to be a Did she tell you? No. She didn't tell you? No. So I want to pray with you or for you so that God will restore you. But do me a favor, when you leave here, I want you to be serious with your salvation. Yes. Don't ever have a friend who speaks a different language to what you are saying. Yes. Whether it be a colleague or employee, whatever. But don't ever surround yourself with a person who speaks a different language. I don't mean Uzulu or Venda, no. I mean a person who's a heathen. Yes. I understand. Ne? Yes. Because those are the things that take us out of the will of God. You understand me? Yes. You did well by coming here. God is going to restore you, but when you get home, go and maintain your Christianity. Yes. I can't go sell it before. Excuse me? I can't go sell it before. They're selling she. Not that much. Osa sela nangoku. Oka nye uyo e Christian nangoku. Ayy. Koka na mwe na chin. Chin kwa kisela nje. Beli sa sela. But I don't go out. And Ali, you don't necessarily... I will say the cow put me like pearl. Osa na mwe sela nje. Because I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look at you in church and the full man. The last thing you need to pray for is your temper. Do you understand me when I yes. say your temper? Yes. The last thing we need to pray for you is your temper. So give your life to Christ fully. God will restore you, isn't Ozaka is our hamba. Even your business will pick up. Yes, I will receive. You understand me? Yes. I know you came here because your business is down. You're not seeing any progress. You want something that you want something to happen quickly. But a step towards that it's your life in Christ. You understand, understand me? Yes. Then your life will pick up. Because this thing that gives you stress, that makes you feel it's actually a spirit that is limiting you. Junk. Each time, what normally happens after that? Whatever that has caused you to drink alcohol becomes worse the next day. Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. So, yeah, but the more you, you grow older, the more you try to find a solution, the more you're saying, I want something to happen, is the worse your situation becomes. Yes. So I'm going to pray with you that God restores you, Eva. But I, it's of the utmost importance that you give your life to Christ. I'm willing to do so. God will restore you. I'm telling you, if you do that, you won't, this time next year, you'll be married already. 
understand. You're not going to take long. I understand. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'll come back to you. What happened to the lady who was sitting there? No, not that one. The other one. She went to the bathroom. Oh. Where is your family? In Guyana. Wait. Says it. Where is your husband? I don't know if I should call him a husband. Where is your husband? Oh, I know. I know why I'm calling him your husband. Amen. Because somebody has already declared him your husband. You know, some, some of you, honestly speaking, so that you could realize the importance of God. Because when, when God lifts you up, it's you again who drops him off at some bus station somewhere and you take off by yourself. Hmm? There is something that happened and there is a, it has affected your spiritual life. Right now, it's even hard for you to pray. Yes. Let alone go into church. Yes. And uh, you are here, you want Daddy to tell you what to do. What do you want Daddy to say to you? I came here regarding the pregnancy. But I'm saying, you want Daddy to tell you what to do. What is it that you want Daddy to tell you? Can, can I demonstrate what I'm saying? You know, it's like what? It's like when you have a child, like my son, who's a year old, and you tell him you don't have teeth to chew meat. You have to eat things that have milk inside to nourish your body. And he decides, even though he doesn't have teeth, he will go and eat steak. What do you think is going to happen to him? Now, my question is, when he is now eating steak and is choking him, what am I supposed to do as his mother? Do you understand what I'm saying? Is what I'm saying making sense? Yes. What am I now supposed to do? Because now he's choking because of the steak. Can I tell you what you're supposed to do? Amen. The same thing that you stopped doing is the only thing that will give you a solution. The chaos that you are having, you already know what the answer of it, the same thing that you're doing. Go back to church. I know there's something that he said here, ning ning, and I can like, but don't pray for me. Daddy said something, ning, ning. He says, when I have a child and I send my child out there to go and harvest, you, my children, you abandon me, the parent, and you follow the child. What is it that your fellow brother will tell you that I don't know as your parent? Because even your fellow brother still need my grooming as a parent. What is he going to groom you with? I'm going to pray for you. God will restore you. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Because the enemy wants to take your life. And he has already tried a number of times. It's by God's grace that you are still alive. Hmm? Amen. Another thing I want to pray for you, I saw pains in your stomach. Yes. I want to pray for you 
so that this, this is the plan of the enemy to end your life. Hmm? Amen. Because there are times that you feel like you are bleeding or you are going to bleed. Yeah. Even today. Hmm? Even today. And sometimes it does happen a little bit. Yes. You bleed. Mm. Hmm? Yes. It's, it's a way that the enemy is trying to use to, to snatch your life from you. But I'm going to pray for you. But God will restore you. Amen. Are you hearing me? <coughs> Amen. But go back to God. Amen. Is this man a Christian? Yes. Where is he a Christian? He's attending the Charles Pretoria. I wish both of you can come for deliverance. Huh? Because both of you, you need deliverance. Because all of a sudden, there's a spirit that, because you were supposed to be done. Yes. Now. But each time, it's, it, it draws closer. It's as if he becomes a non-Christian. Because now he was telling me that he's even failing to pray. He can't even pray anymore. That's what I'm saying. Each time, the time you said for him to finish paying a bread price, out of nowhere he becomes a non-Christian. That's true. And you go back to square one. That's true. Place your hand on your stomach. Sorry? Place your hands on your stomach. Close your eyes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Your spirit. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So see, I was searching for you. You. Come. Come, let me pray for you. Place your hand on your chest. You. Big sense is up. Close your eyes. Come stand here. Where are you coming from? At Richville. Yes. But originally, where do you come from? Vendor. I'm a vendor. Where is your family? Vendor. They at home. And you said your family is where? Gien. Is in Gien. You two, you have the same problem. Yeah? That's why I was asking if you guys are related. But you almost look alike. Did you notice? No. No. When you go back, look at yourselves, you see. <laughs> you almost look alike. The only difference is that your nose is a bit pointy and yours is it's African. Okay. You people, you have the same problem. Yeah? I want to pray for you for breakthrough. I want to pray for you for marriage. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Because you are now starting to become a an object of ridicule. It's true. Hmm? It's true. Especially you. It's like it has come to a point where people comment mock you. It's true. Hmm? It's true. 
just to hear how you will react. Yeah. Huh? They provoke me. That's what I'm saying. They comment to ridicule you. Yes. So I want to pray for you so that this case can stop in your lives. Amen. Are you understanding me? Amen. Amen. Because when now it has come to a point where it is now you think too much about it and it's now affecting your health. That's true. Hmm? That's true. Because you feel like your life it's in one place. That's true. Only if you could get marriage at least. That's true. Because I'm seeing that nobody has ever been married before. Hmm? Yes. At least the case will be broken. Please tell him not to leave. Bafo, tell, please tell him not to leave. Ne? So I want to pray for you so that we break this case. Where is your mom? Passed away. She has passed away. Where is your mom? She's at home. Who's taking care of you? My sister took care of me since my mother passed away while I was young. I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Let's pray that this case be broken because it's a case that is following you so that you will end up nowhere. But I want you to be careful of people around you. Okay. Ne? You know that people around you, they don't have good intentions for you. Yes, especially at where I'm working. Mm. So there's no point for me to say this is going to happen and you still keep the same people around you. Yes. All right? Yes. You separate yourself from these people because they don't have good intentions for you. You might end up losing your life in this place. And this is not where you are supposed to end. Are you hearing me? Yes. Another thing, I want you to be careful of men that come to you. Hmm? Yes. Because mostly I'm seeing people who are drunkards. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yeah. It's true. Am I right? Yes. I'm seeing people who are drunkards that approach you. Mm. Says so you don't ever agree to be anybody's second wife. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. Who wants to make you their second wife? I'm not sure as yet. Don't agree for anybody to make you their second wife. Amen. Because now it's older men that are coming to you. Hmm? Yes. This case will be broken today, no? Jesus' name. Mm. You are both free. Do you want to accept Christ? Because I, I want to pray for you, but the enemy still claims you. I want to accept Christ. Can I give you my husband to pray with you? Yes. To accept, and you promise me you will. Never go back. I promise. If you do, I'm telling you, your life is going to be a testimony. You'll be, you'll be a miracle where you come from. People, they will end up thinking you are into cult. The way God will do it for you. People will end up accusing you of killing people for ritual money. I've learned a lot now. I surrender. <laughs> Thank God. Honey, please. Thank you. <coughs> Sir, please come. I'll speak with you. You're the last people I'll speak with. Please pray with him to accept Christ. I thought I'm done. <laughs> You're still calling me again. Yes. If you call 
join me again. I, I speak more things. <laughs> <laughs> Please pray with him to accept Christ. I'll pray with him. Other than that, how are you, sir? I'm fine, ma'am. Most of you, it's like you came here for same, same problems. Are you a pastor? No. You're not a pastor? You want to be a pastor? No. Are you sure? I'm certain. Do you want to be a pastor? No, ma'am. Where are you serving? Serving as him? Like, where are you going to church? I'm going to church in, in Kanye. Kanye? That's one, yes. What are you doing there? I just attend, nothing. I just attend church. Are you sure? I'm certain. I don't believe you. <laughs> And I have a reason why I don't believe you. What are you doing with your pastor? What am I doing with? Your pastor. My pastor? Yes, your pastor. Well, well there's a church that I used to attend. Uh, I, I left sometime in, in June. But uh, still there, I was, I was a member. I was helping here and there, but I was just a member like any other person. Mm, but you were helping here and there? Yes. That's why I'm asking you, do you want to be a pastor? What made you to live there? It's a very long story. You can always cut it short. Well, um... Don't explain. Don't explain. I shouldn't explain. No. Okay. Don't explain. You're a vendor-speaking person. Vamos venda. Vamos lá. Where you are coming from? Yes. As I'm asking you, you want to be a pastor. What are you doing with the pastor? Where you are coming from? There is a spirit that is following you. That is always monitoring you. Okay. It monitors you in this way. Each time when you work so hard in doing anything, when it's time for you to harvest what you have labored for, you move. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Don't say okay, don't say hmm, say yes or no. Well, about that spirit, I, I, I can't say I understand what, what exactly you are saying. But do you understand what I'm saying? That there is a spirit that is following me. Yes. Yes, I understand that. That is monitoring you. That you work so hard. When you are about to harvest, you move. That's why I asked you, what are you doing in church? What took you away from wherever you were serving? That's why I asked you those type of questions. Can I tell you why? Yes, Remember the first question I asked you, are you a pastor? Yes, ma'am. You are supposed to become a pastor. But now with what is happening to you, it's the same thing with that brother. Each time anything happens, instead of you going towards that direction, you take a direction opposite to where you are supposed to be going. I understand. The person I was supposed to elaborate for you, it's Didi. I don't know if he said it. He did not touch it. Because now I'm taking things that are way out of my league. But let me try to explain by God's grace, because this is what I'm saying. You do have the calling of God in your life. 
that's why you have this desire that you want things to be done biblically, the Bible way, or not done at all. That is true, yes. Hmm? That is true. That's, that's what, is, what is true? That's how I like things to be done. The biblical way? Yeah. Or not done at all? True. It's because there is, there is a will of God in you which is driving you to pursue you to the truth so you can reach your destiny. Which is the gospel. Yeah, that is true. Hmm? That is correct. Because right now, whatever is happening from you to you, it's taking you further away from that way of becoming a pastor. Because one, you will complain that I don't have money, I need to get a better job, or I need a promotion. Two, you'll be focused on what's happening on your family. And the more we focus, the more our focus is not going there. It's going there. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do understand. Am I making sense? Because you're just like, no, I'm, I'm following. I'm, I'm following what you're saying. <laughs> you say I'm studying. Like, <laughs> no, where is I'm, your wife? She's, she's at home in Botswana. She's at home in Botswana? Yes. When you go back home, go join hands with your wife. Pray. Yeah? So that you break this limitation in front of you. Hmm? and you can go into serving God. Because you have, God has already given you that heart of prayer all the time. Yes. Hmm? Indeed, ma'am. Although sometimes you feel like you're overdoing it. Indeed, ma'am. Hmm? Absolutely correct. Keep on in the way that, I won't say many things, the Lord has already told you every other thing about your life. Or Gabuamaka? Not at all. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you this. When this edge that comes for you to pray, don't shut it down because you normally shut it down. Don't shut it down. Pray. Okay, thank you. Yeah? Because you used to have visions. And the times things that you see, they actually do happen in front of you. Correct. Hmm? So true. now when you go home, when you have this vision, you pray about it. You understand me? Yes, I There's a reason why God has showed you. You pray about it and God will show you more. But then God showing you more and telling you more doesn't mean you have to go into ministry. No. Yes. Yeah. You keep praying until he says the right time. Yes, thank you. Hmm? The last thank thing you. I'll tell you, the way you are doing, not compromising. Don't ever compromise for anything. Thank you. Mm? I'll do that. Because now there are already people who are starting to say, we get a omopeter. You are making yourself better. Like this Christian thing, he's the only one who, who knows Christianity. Okay. Don't listen to what they are saying. They are trying to drag you down. Yes. Pick up the pace. Or oh, am I lying when I say there are people who are saying that? No, you are correct. Everything you are saying is correct. Okay. Yes. Pick up the pace and keep praying. There's somewhere that God is taking you. I believe. Are you hearing me? Yes. You are blessed, Papa. Thank you. I won't pray for you. You are blessed. Come. They are your children, yeah? Yes. yes please come. <clears throat> Where are you from originally? I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. And where are you staying now? I'm staying in Sweden. Where is your husband? Oh, he's in Sweden. In Sweden. Mm. You people in your family, there was an idol. Mm, it, it is true. But huh? I, it is true, but I don't know which is which. <laughs> I wish you'd come with your husband. There was an idol in your family. In my husband's family? 
Both of you. Both of us, yeah, it is true. That they used to worship. Mm. This is the thing I hate about idol worship because whoever is worshiping sacrifices everybody that comes after them, even us who has no part in it. Mm. That's what I hate about idol worship. It's never a, it's not like Christianity, which is a personal thing. Mm. I know it's nothing about it drags it. everybody in. Mm. And now, what is happening in your family? It's the result of these idols that were being worshipped a long time ago. Because now your children. Are not well. No, no. I'm not talking about this one because of a physical stature, but no. mm. health wise, yes. mentally wise. Two of them. They are not okay. Uh, yeah. The one, the one not, the two at home also. Hmm? The two at home. These two are not, and those who are at home also are not so. Are not okay. No. The result is this idol worship. That's why I say I hate it because whoever worshipped it in both your families has also initiated you. Hmm. Without you people knowing or without you people being born. Hmm. Because what's happening to you is not only you, even other members of the family. You people, you don't enjoy life in general. Hmm. You don't enjoy having children hmm. at all. Hmm. In fact, the more older you become, life becomes miserable. Hmm. I want to pray so that we break this, Amen. this spirit. What is Daddy doing? Pardon? What is Daddy doing? Yeah. Uh, That's another one. <laughs> He's not doing uh, anything now we can say. We what what, what to... happened to his business? The business has run down and now we are planning to buy another company. Uh, we don't have money to buy it. We only paid 10% of it last last week. So the remaining 2.5 million, we don't know where to get it from. So he's, uh, we can say he's jobless now. And I'm asking you because I saw a building collapse. There's a lot of containers we have sent to Africa, everything has gone down. Started a business when I was having this boy's pregnancy. But today we, we have nothing, nothing to, to show. No. Because I saw a building collapse. Mm. That's why I'm asking you, what is it that he's doing? Nothing. The cause is the same. Mm. I know. Mm. And it's not only him, mm. even his siblings. Mm. They rise and they come. The older you become, it's when. At an age where you are supposed to be saying, now I'm relaxed, I'm enjoying life, mm. I'm harvesting now. That's when everything crumbles down. It's true. But I want us to pray so that we break this, this spirit of idol worship in the family. And you people to prosper. and for your children to be free. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this, God is going to help you mm -hmm. to get this company. Mm -hmm. But when you do, yes. remember what I said in the beginning, I'm not saying this because of, the, of your daughter, no. your stature, but I'm saying this because I'm hearing what God is telling me and what I'm, I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. But when you get that company, yes. are you hearing me? I'm hearing you very well. Listen to this girl. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, I should listen. Didn't to she me. help you in raising the 10% you're talking about? Hmm. <laughs> she has been helping the family for many years. Thank you. Was I there? Listen to this one. This one has a mind of a billionaire, this one. But my main concern now is that I want to pray for you so that this spirit can be broken. Yes, I want it to be broken. 
And I want to pray that you start enjoying your children because you've never enjoyed your children. You come from which side? You say you're staying where right now? In um, Sweden. That in is Sweden. Uh, in Scandinavia. You people will make it there. Pardon? You will make it Amen. in Sweden. Amen. Don't relocate. No. No. Are you hearing me? Yes. Tell your husband when you get home, we, they say we shouldn't, don't relocate. No. Yeah? Okay. Because if you relocate, when you get home, you won't stay long. They will finish all of you. Hmm. One after the other. Hmm. Hmm. I also want us to pray for your husband's health. Okay. Are you hearing me, Mama? Yes. I want us to pray for your husband's health, for God to heal him. Because his health is not good. It's on and off, on and off, on and off. Don't worry, it's well with him. You did well by coming here. It is well with you. Thank it's you, already Jesus. finished. Thank you, Jesus. When you come back here, you will come back with a testimony. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. Let me pray for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are free. Go home and enjoy your children. I believe it. I don't need to say anything. You wanted to ask God, Mom? About my son. I, I, I have faith that everything is done. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like, oh, sorry. It's okay. I feel like exposing the the work of the enemy. As you are seeing him standing here, he's, he has finished school, everything, he's a mess. He has not been able to work. When he was in form three of the, of, we have another system of education where we are. He started, he had a sore on the legs. He started just a little continue and then move from left and right. Now we can say for no, it's nine or ten years now. Now ten, for ten years now we have been treating that legs, the sore on the legs has not healed. So it was part of this problem we said we must come. I don't remember if you remember what my husband said at the beginning. Okay, let, let me repeat myself. I don't mind repeating myself. Um, I said, there is a problem at home that comes from idol worship. You say so. I said, when time comes for you to enjoy and relax, everything goes yes. to the ground. That's why I said to you, none of your children are well. No. And that's why I said to you, you are not even enjoying your children. No. Why? Because this is the time they are supposed to be waking yes. and taking care of you. Yeah. Is me Including what you just explained to me now. Yes. Mm. 
So I prayed for you so that this spirit will be broken. Amen. And when I finished, I said, you people are free. Go and enjoy your children. Thank you, Jesus. Go, mama, and do what? I enjoy my children. Thank you. God bless them. Very grateful. Yes, we started a church that is uh, one and a half years now. Yes, two of us. Mm. Yeah, he was going. We be uh, we belong to Pentecost Church, Pentecost where we are living. So it's from there we. I don't. Mm. Yes. Yeah, it's very, I was so, even surprised because my father was a pastor. So I know nothing about this idol. But I know my mother's side, they are For, worshiping something. Listen, um, so I don't know. This, your children, they are attacked by this. Hmm. The spirit that she's talking about. It is true. So that's why even your son now, he can't work now. Hmm. No. Huh? Nine. No, sorry. You understand? Yes. Was he working? No. He, huh? he, has not, he has not been able to work. He can't. He, he can't because, because of the pain. What she's telling you, I'm just, because of the question that I'm just trying mm -hmm. to, to clean it out. Yes. What he told you is very serious. Mm -hmm. This thing now, it is, even this church that you are seeing, there's a church. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing a church. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Everything is a struggle. She said to you, go and enjoy. Amen. So what I can tell you, be happy. Even him, you'll be fine. Amen. Because sometimes it's very difficult for him to walk. Yes. Huh? Yes. My brother. Yes. You know it's very difficult sometimes for you yes. to walk. Yeah, I've been at true, man of God. Huh? It's true. Sometimes you feel very weak that you, like you can fall. It's very true. Huh? I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> Even man right of now. God. Yes. And now this spirit is making him to lose appetite also. Very true, man of God. It is true. Very yeah. true. You understand? It's nutrition. Yeah. And yes, now, it's when people are looking at him from a distance, they think he's not. He's having a mental problem. Because mm. a lot of drugs. He, yeah? uh, he's taking a lot of medicine for pain yes. relief. He That's what I'm good. saying. When people are looking at him, they will think he's. Mm. He never went to hospital. I'm seeing him in the hospital. Oh, several yeah. times. Huh? Several yeah. times. I'm seeing him in the hospital. Several times. Several times. Mm. Huh? Several times, man of God. Listen. She has spoken with you. You are free. You must believe Amen. it. Amen. 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 I receive it in Jesus' name. Um, my name is Maria. I'm coming from Pretoria. And can you tell us the prophecy you received on, and also confirm it? Um, the prophecy that I received um, is true. Um, me and my husband we were having problems and I also came here regarding the pregnancy and then they prayed for me. What was happening with the pregnancy? Um, they told me that they cannot feel the heartbeat so um, daddy declared that um, I must not listen to the doctors and then when I came here like my stomach was very flat but then now I can show that I'm pregnant because of like there was just complications. And how was that affecting you the fact that they told you that there is no heartbeat in the child? Um, I was failing to pray, but then I believe that God um, would help me. And regarding your husband? Um, regarding my husband, like we were supposed to finish, I think, um, this year, but then every time that we want to do something, then there's always financial difficulties, or there's always a situation that comes up, and then he, he, used, he needs to use the money for something. And how will that be uh, amongst you? We just kept on believing in God. And now that they've told you about the challenges that brought you here today, how are you feeling? Um, I'm very relieved and I believe that God will help me, has already helped me. Words of encouragement to the viewers. Okay, um, I can say to all those who are pregnant, like before you, do any, before you do anything, just go to church. Before you listen to the doctors, just go to church first for confirmation. Amen. My name is Happiness Michabe and I come from Guyana. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Um, the prophecy I received today was about um, 
my health, which um, it has to do with marriage. I am not married and um, I'm also unemployed. So it's affecting my health and it's affecting me mentally. And I confirm this prophecy to be true because ever since um, I haven't been employed and I'm not married as yet, it's been getting to me and I've been feeling a bit depressed and years in that people have been talking about me, mocking me behind my back. So that has been affecting me a lot. And uh, the woman of God also talked about the issue of you not accepting to be made somebody else's second wife. Yes, um, I also confirmed that prophecy to be true. The people that approach me are the people who are in committed relationships or that are already with some other people. So um, I've been trying to avoid that and I like to confirm that prophecy to be true as well. And how do you feel that today you received a word of change upon your life? I feel blessed and I feel relieved and I feel that God has heard my prayers and he is with me. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Um, I encourage um, the viewers at home to pray and to come to Charis Missionary Church with a heart that believes that God will do something in their lives and God will change their lives. My name is Katuchero Munjulwe. I'm from Atrishville. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? The prophecy that I received, it, uh, it's about the case of uh, not being married. And it's uh, originally uh, re originated from my family. It's rotating. like. What, what is happening concerning marriage in your family? Mm, the prophecy that I've received, uh, they prophesy about my sister who's been taking care of me and also my cousin. She was, uh, she has been married before, then she get divorced, then she married again, then she get divorced again. And the fact that uh, people don't get married in your family, how was that affecting you? It's affecting me badly. Mm, and asking myself uh, what is hap what is happening in my life, not getting married and not find the right person. And how do you feel that you've been prayed for for deliverance? I feel uh, relieved since well I've uh, received the deliverance because I've been going to uh, many different churches trying to get uh, deliverance due to the problems that I'm uh, having. Words of encouragement to the viewers? My encouragement is uh, don't uh, give up and be patient. Yeah, everything is got time. Yeah. My name is Ricardo Sabuing. I come from Botswana. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Um, the, uh, the woman of God came to me and asked me whether I'm a pastor. I indicated to her that I'm not a pastor. Then she asked me what my role was in the church that I attended. I told her that I, I was attending just like any other member. Then she told me that there is a spirit that is follow me, that is following me, and that uh, that spirit, whenever I'm supposed to go a particular direction, I I go the wrong way without completing that which I've started, and I've confirmed the prophecy to be true. And she also told me that uh, the the issue that have people have with me is that I always want things to be done the biblical way. Uh, or not at all. I confirm that prophecy to be true. Uh, she also prophesied to me that uh, there is always that edge within me to to pray, and that I also used to see visions in my in my life, and that those visions will later happen in in life. I confirm that all those prophecies to be true, and she encouraged me that I should continue to pray, and that I should pray with my wife, and that God will show me the direction. And did you expect her to tell you what she has told you today? Not at all. I 
I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. And how do you feel that today you have received a word of change? I believe that uh, uh, the the spirit of Lord was living here, and that my life would change for the better. I believe that my spiritual life has been uplifted, uh, which is something that every person should de desire in life to to be uplifted spiritually. So I'm very happy about that. Words of encouragement to the viewers. I encourage viewers that uh, they should trust in the Lord, and that uh, if they pray to God in whatever they want to achieve, the Lord would lead them there and that they should not be discouraged by people who criticize them or try to pull them down because they because of their belief in Christ. My name is Big Sisam Trolli. I come from Eastern Cape. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Uh, I received that um, the devil is using my friends to destroy me. I confirm that to be true. And uh, they said my business is not good, and I confirm that to be true. My business, I don't see anything that is going well, but they they pray for me, so I'm hoping everything will go well. And she also talked about the issue of you were supposed to have been married to have married and also the issue of drinking. Can you also confirm those as well? Yes, we, I, I proposed to, uh, get my, to my girlfriend. Then we were fighting a lot. Then I decided, no, I, I, I have to cancel this marriage. Then I canceled it. I told her to remove the ring. Uh, about drinking, I, I drink. I go out, I drink a lot. But uh, recently, these days, I decided, no, I, I have to slow down. And how was this affecting your life? It's affecting me too much because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Always the things becomes worse. And what is it that you have decided to do since you've received a word of prophecy? Yeah, I have decided that I have to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. Yes. And how do you feel that you've accepted Jesus and also you've been prayed for? I, I feel good and I'm willing to surrender to Jesus Christ. Words of encouragement to those that are watching? Uh, I encourage them to come there here to to receive their healing. Yes. Uh, my name is Fabian, mm, and we came from I came we came from Sweden. And can you? This is my daughter, Lily, and that's my son, George Michael. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today, and also confirm it? Yeah, it said it's an idol both in my house and my husband's uh, family that have uh, destroyed everything we're having and that there's one that has been disturbing my children. But today, the Lord has conquered that. What was happening to your children? Yeah, they have been sick. She has been sick. He also has been sick. Even he, as I said earlier, he had a sore in the legs. For 10 years, the sore has not been healed. But today, the Lord he has healed him. Mm. And, and how was the situation of your children affecting you as a parent? Oh, it has been a lot of problem for me. I've been, have not been able to enjoy what they call children. I have been carrying their problems since, since they were born. She's 27, 25. But I'm still the one helping them to do everything they need to do. And so, so can you tell us what is it that you believe God has done for you today? He has answered my prayers and making me stronger. Yeah. And can you also tell us the fact that you are not finding 
work and also the source that had developed in your feet? How was it affecting you? It was affecting me very much uh, since I haven't been able to work. I haven't been able to you know, pr provide for my family and you know be the support that you know a man at this age should be possible to do. So it has been very hard to you know go through it. So yeah, yeah I'm feeling very you know uh, uplifted. You know, feel much much more positive that now now we are free. Now we can you know proceed with our lives in which in Jesus name and mama can you also tell us about the issue of the ministry because they touched on that as well what was happening to your ministry we started a ministry for one and a half years ago uh, mm -hmm. we are not so many it's we those who left from the old church that are still there but uh, for the ministry, as the pastor was saying, he has not seen it to be ministry. Be, we, 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 have we have faith in doing this because we just, as the Lord has called, we did it in that way, but we don't have, um, it's not, we are not any salary for me, nothing, but we are just serving the Lord. And we have been hoping that he has started he will, he, will, he will do it the way he wants it to be. So for the ministry, we know we have started, but we have not, no, I mean, think so much about it because we are not living on it. <laughs> we only do it with, with joy, you know, so that's it. And as the prophetess has spoken with you today, and she also said to you words of encourage to say, go home and enjoy your children. How does that make you feel? I believe it. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. I'm very grateful to God for He has done it. Words of encouragement to the viewers that are watching? You, my encouragement is that uh, I pray for others who have not discovered this place, that the Lord should make them discover here and come down here. Because uh, we are planning to go to Nigeria first, to, to uh, TV Joshua. But uh, and then later we started watching uh, the YouTube here. We saw another church here in, in South Africa, Alfluka or something like that. But we, the other way we saw this, my, my husband said, ah, see this man, ah, tell me what you people say in, on, on YouTube. Ah, I said, no, I love this man's spirit. It's, it's look like TV just said, very calm. So we go to this place. That is how it is. So I advise others to also come here and receive their own deliverance.